Welcome back y'all. This is Rose with another cup and another drop. Today, as you can see on the screen, we're going to talk about tips and tricks with the Photos app and the camera for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. Let's start with the first feature here. Let me just get into my Photos app. Okay. So I'm in my Photos app here and the first feature I'm going to show you is called basically uh, pinching and zoom your photos from the gallery. So you do have to be in your gallery screen and say I just want to go go in and out even further. This will show so you basically pinch and zoom. So I'm actually in my gallery pinching to go in and then pinching back to get a monthly view so you could do that I didn't know this phone could do that in the past but it can and then you could actually pinch it even more or pinch it even more and go further out and get more detail so that is the pinch to zoom feature that is one of the things that I didn't know about in the past so pinch to zoom see that so you're pinching in that makes it makes it smaller so you can get a more monthly view pinching out gives you a more detailed view oh you see that snake <laughs> yeah so of course you know you can do that with the individual pictures another feature I want to show you as well let's see here we're going to go to the library to here at the bottom here sorry for my lighting but I'm in a dark room uh, we're going to go to the library and then we're going to go to utilities here at the top. And then we can create an animation, a collage, or a movie. So let's first start with an animation. I'm just going to select some shoes here. Let's go with this one and this one. No. And then maybe up to here and up to here and up to here. Then I'm going to also click on at the top here, create. It's creating an animation for me so that's all I did to get that animation so we go back we just swoosh back click on collage we pick some pictures we want to choose say I want to just put all these in one collage and it'll put that in the collage for me so you don't need a separate app like you used to in years past if I want to do another collage, adding more pictures, uh, let's see here, I'm trying to see, let's add, boom, I want to add like more than a couple of pictures, so let's just add, boom, 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 and one of these. Alright, so they, put, they can put them in multiple pictures in, you could do two photos, multiple photos, you need as many photos as you like, but you don't need a separate app for it like you did in previous. Then I can create a movie. Say I want to click a, click a new movie from my own photos. Ooh, I, I don't have very many videos on here, so this one might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, here's, here's a video, I believe, of a concert. So let's click on that and then go up to the top and create. So it's creating the movie, it's downloading the clip. It's something I learned about in the new Pixel 6 Pro. So give it time. It's a big clip, so it may take a little bit longer. Um, I can expand this out like this, expand this out like this on the bottom. I can add music. Let's add theme music. There's a list of songs here. Let's just change it. This is, since that's a festival, I'll go ahead and click that. We're going to allow it to create my movie based off of a video. I don't want to rate right now. And then let's go see if it created it for me. So I'm going to go back to... I don't want y'all looking at all my videos 
Let me go back to and see if it created a Bear with me here. I'm trying to see if it created that other one may be it may have been too long, but go back into the app. Let's go back into the app and go back to what was it? Oh, utilities. You gotta be in the photo the photos then go back to utilities here at the top and I'm, I'm sorry guys but I'm behind this camera and let's see I need to find a smaller video with not much on it because just wanted to show you quickly here's a 25 second clip let's go ahead and put that on there let's create a movie Downloading the clip. 25 seconds shouldn't take too long. Boom, boom. Let's go ahead and add some theme music. Again, you got here at the top. It's kind of loud, sorry guys. You got dramatic, category, electronic, rockin', reflective, upbeat. So we're going to go with dramatic. Uh, since this is at a cemetery, we're going to have at Cataclysmic Molten Core. And then we're going to add it to the video. I actually like that. But anyway, that's one of the things that you could change it to landscape mode or change it back to portrait here at the bottom. So you're clicking on this here and you can change it to portrait toggle back to landscape so that's another one of the we'll discard that that's one of the features that I learned today and then we're going to go to let's see here I also uh, picked up on some new some other new features about the camera I thought it was so so cool um, let's see here these are what I call hidden camera tricks you guys like my uh, wallpaper in the color matching theme. Let's go to um, the first trick that I learned Google Lens on Demand. So essentially, all we have to do is just press the power button. Oops. That opens up our camera. Then we aim the phone at whatever you want to touch. So let's just aim it over here. Touch and hold. Your finger on the viewfinder area, the big open space appears. Da 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 da. So let's do this. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys can't see it. You can see it automatically, automatically opened that up. Let's try that again. Okay, here I got a book sitting right here. So let's try that. We're touching and holding the viewfinder touching and holding the viewfinder so what it does look what it does it sees the book and it pulls it up so you don't have to go to take a picture I always thought you had to take a picture and then use the Google lens but you don't you essentially just point at your object press and hold you'll see the Google ring and then your image and information will pull up pretty neat trick the next trick I will call the fast camera flipping and this one is essentially, let's turn the camera, let's move this back over here and pull this up just a little bit. Okay, and this one is simply called the fast camera flipping. So if you want to toggle between portrait and, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, facing the camera, facing that way, or flipping towards portrait mode, towards yourself, you just simply shake it like that. Boom, you see the camera. Back to that. So you're just flipping your wrist. Boom. So that's another trick I learned. That's just basically the bed over there. The next trip, quick video capture. So the best way to do this is open the camera. Since we already have it open, we're simply going to press and take a picture with the, with the camera. So basically, we're just going to hold the shutter button. And it, um, you see it automatically starts video recording. If you see that, 
So as soon as you release it, it stops recording. But that's one of the quick ways so you don't have to switch back and forth between camera or video. Boom, another awesome trick. Boom, press on the shutter button. Cool trick. So I'm learning these things about the phone that I didn't know before. Then you got a zip, what you call zip, zip zooming. I think we already know that zip zooming is pinch to find. So essentially here, all we're doing, you know, old school is just boom, boom, like that. So the best way to do it, which a little bit harder for me to figure this one out. Uh, let's see. Um, let me see what, what, on, okay, so on the recent models, you can slide your finger horizontally along the row of zoom levels. I'll show you this trick. Which, hell, let's have, put the book in front of you. So we're just basically doing the zoom and zoom without having to basically, this is just a quicker way. I mean, even though we could just manually press each of the, these uh, distance, it's 0.7, 1 time, 2 times, 4 times. So, but you can actually go like this and just have your camera open and just slide it across there like that. That's one way to do it. Just go like this. You don't have to individually press them if you want to go in and out quick zoom. Boom. 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 So that is what we call, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, the zipper, zippier zooming with your uh, Pixel Pro or Pixel 6. Um, let's see here, manual exposure controls. Let's see here. Okay, so go right here. We see the vertical sliders on the right hand side. The top one will adjust the brightness while the bottom will let you take control of your photo shadows. That's pretty much boom here and here. You probably already knew that when you when you uh, p open your camera. Um, fancy face fixes. Let's see what we have here. Fancy face fixes again guys I'm just doing my best to show you these quick tips and we'll go on to so essentially switch over to your phone's front facing camera boom we go like this that's the quick trip remember Boom, front facing camera, then tapping the downward facing arrow at the top of the screen. You see that over to the left there. And good golly, what do you look at that? Right there in the menu, you'll never think of, to open the two top notch touch up selfie illumination. So we're going to go over here. There's that arrow and boom, there it is. There it is either the selfie illumination or the more light depending on you know what mode you are and you can improve the images lightning and face retouching which makes the most you know ugliest picture pretty pretty nice so you probably already knew those were there um, then we also have the next tip we call that shot options so let's go back to the main screen here Let's uh, open the camera back up and bloop, and I'm going, yeah, there's, that's the way I want it. So this one is shot options. So, oh, this one, you, you captured a short video around your photo so you could have some options in case you blinked. So if you're using this device, open up your camera, tap the downward facing arrow at the top. And click on top shot you probably saw that in the last one here top shot you see that there okay you can either set it to a for automatically and your phone will sense that it's a take taking a, a automatic shot or you could just keep it here on permanent permanent top shot okay so I think this one was called motion photos in the past, but now they call it top shot. Okay. So I just wanted to introduce you to these uh, 
settings if you didn't know about these. So what do you think? I'm sure a lot of these you didn't know about before. Oh, I forgot one of them that I forgot. Or did I even show y'all this? When we have the camera open, we could just take a quick shot. Basically, boom. Just like that. So if you see here at the bottom, you see here I'm taking a picture. You're going to see that change. All I'm doing is pressing the power button. So if you only have one hand to take a picture, you don't have two hands for for whatever reason, all you can do is just hold the power button and you can find it that way as well. So I really, really like some of these tricks. Um, I hope you guys kind of discovered them yourself. If you didn't, I hope this video helps. Until the next cup, guys. Until the next drop. Until the next cup. Peace, y'all.